public space, but as a uh, 44-born German ch uh, child at the end of the war. Uh, yes, I am, as most of the Germans of my generation, I am a bit a prisoner of this uh, German history and uh, so I try to get out of this situation, but it's very difficult, uh, uh, even 70 years later, uh, to uh, go back to La Pola. Uh, so I have many photographs of different works here. Uh, 
or some are known as counter monuments and I tried together with my friend and colleague and architect Andreas Knitz uh, to find uh, new forms uh, of uh, monuments uh, and uh, some of them I will uh, show you here and please ask me if there are any questions. Uh, so, so first, space. Uh, space always is only space. Uh, ah, yes, and here is the next one. It's very cool. Yes, uh, this is in Eberswalde, a town near Berlin, a hundred kilometer of, oh, from Berlin in uh, in Beck. Yes. So, um, and here uh, in the Nazis burned the synagogues in uh, uh, 38, uh, but this is a photo from uh, 32 uh, uh, that was a lightning uh, and the synagogue uh, was uh, in fire and all the neighbors helped uh, to extinguish the fire, <coughs> to restore the synagogue, and some years later, uh, perhaps the same neighbors burned, uh, burned the synagogue in the so-called Reichskristallnacht, and we were, were invited to remember this place, and uh, they told us there is nothing, the Nazis built a fire uh, department on this place and later it was a police station and but we and they told us there's nothing left of the synagogue but under the concrete we uh, discovered uh, nearly all the base uh, of the former synagogue and then we uh, on the base uh, walls uh, we uh, built uh, wall. The wall is about three meters high without doors, without uh, windows. Nobody can enter there. Only the nature enters this ground and now it grows and at the end a small wood, a small uh, will uh, rebuild the volume more or less of the former synagogue but nobody can enter. Uh, it and uh, here you have uh, outside on the wall you have an uh, inscription which tells uh, uh, the history of the Jewish community and uh, the Holocaust. There is no the community, Jewish community now in Eberswalde, and so it is a uh, yes, the title is uh, Growing Memory. So that the memory always grows and uh, changes and only, yes. Here we have another synagogue. My birthplace is Poznan in Poland. There I was born, 44. And my parents came from Riga as uh, German, oh, as German Baltics. Um, is uh, uh, by the Hitler-Stalin uh, contract. They was uh, coming as German Baltics uh, uh, settled in Poznan in the in the Wartegau. And my older, I am the youngest. My older sisters perhaps learned to swim in this swimming pool because the Nazis uh, uh, performed uh, the great the old synagogue in a swimming pool. Mm -hmm. And uh, now we had an exhibition there and we cut it, uh, parts of the swimming pool and we had an installation in, uh, there was uh, in the castle of Poznan, there was the cabinet of Hitler. It was a fascistic uh, architecture. And uh, then uh, we had an installation with the parts of the swimming pool now uh, in the office of Hitler of the former, former officers that we performed it and bought the uh, parts of the swimming pool. But 
And now the, uh, the community, the Jewish community, uh, is, uh, are only 60, uh, 70 persons in Poznan. And before the war, uh, it was a community of uh, 10,000. Uh, they cannot, they uh, be, it uh, worked as a swimming pool until 2004. Uh, as a public swimming, swimming pool. And now uh, the community got it back, but they have not the money to rebuild the synagogue. Though uh, last year they uh, sold uh, the building, and now an uh, investor comes and will build a hotel there with a swimming pool. <laughs> And so that is a birthplace. Uh, uh, so uh, always uh, the family, my my family history, uh, mix with the uh, with the war and with the, is mixed with the war history and with the uh, great uh, the big lines of of history. So, uh, but uh, the first victims of the Holocaust were the. Uh, patients of the psychiatrical clinics. They were murdered by the Nazis in the T4, so-called T4 action, euthanasia murder, and they are the forgotten, uh, the Nazis uh, murdered by gas more than uh, 70,000 and in total more than 200, 300,000 uh, patients. Uh, and uh, they experimented uh, and prepared uh, all the big uh, extermination camps in the East uh, by this uh, uh, murdering by gas by the psychiatric patients. Uh, or, uh, and they transported uh, uh, these patients to, the, to six uh, places of uh, 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 murder places um, uh, by these grey buses and uh, so we rebuilt such a grey bus in original scale uh, and uh, it started also, this murder started in nine, uh, 39 in Poznan uh, and uh, so we uh, put uh, this bus, this, it's a moving monument, it, it's uh, Seven, uh, 75 uh, tons uh, and we move uh, around with this uh, monument and here it was in front of the Hitler office in uh, Poznan. How do you move it? Huh? How do you move it? Uh, uh, three uh, with a big crown and, and three Tieflader, three, uh, three tr uh, trucks and we moved it um, over uh, 6,000 kilometers and more than 20 different places. Uh, and it is a, a monument in, uh, which has two parts. One uh, part uh, blocks uh, uh, the entrance of a clinic in the south of Germany which works as a psychiatrical center until today uh, and uh, uh, the other moves, so it has two parts and a, a copy of this uh, moves around along all the administration roads there and, and inside uh, there is an inscription where do you bring us it was a quotation of a patient And uh, this was all uh, in for it was one year in Berlin also in front of the Philharmonie because uh, this was also the place where the uh, Villa T4, where the administration office of all this first murder uh, was. So and the uh, Germans uh, often uh, there was a proverb in Germany in the in the 80s: Don't trust. Uh, 
parks or gardens in German cities, in the center of the city, because often uh, they, uh, uh, it was the places of the Bern synagogues and uh, uh, so the, the, and here uh, they built on this uh, administration place uh, of the uh, euthanasia murder the Philharmonie. Now you have the greatest concerts with Barenboim on this place uh, of greatest uh, unculture, murder, uh, humanity. You have the both they blocked it or they covered it with music. And we wanted, uh, I don't know, yes, here you have the overlapping of it. Uh, of the two buildings, and we wanted to mark the corners of the T4 villa only by blocks from the Holocaust memorial, because we have always a hierarchy in Berlin of memorials. You have the Holocaust memorial, you have the memorial for the Roma and Sinti, you have for the homosexuals, and this uh, 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 was uh, the euthanasia victims were the first victims, uh, but uh, the forgotten victims. And we only wanted to mark the corner of the Tefir villa by this uh, uh, stills, uh, by these blocks. But it was not allowed, of course, you are uh, uh, not allowed to touch uh, this, uh, uh, this monument, Holocaust uh, Memorial. And also, you are not allowed to touch uh, this uh, uh, Philharmonia uh, building of Sharon. Uh, so we uh, uh, big, uh, we won a prize uh, for the idea, for the idea, but but not more. Okay. Yes. So this one, the picture was only like a presentation, but not something that was built. No, only, only, only a presentation, only a... Can you show it yeah. Because uh, people, uh, uh, curator told me, uh, you also, uh, part of your uh, proposal is always uh, you... Uh, rejection. Uh, the re rejection, uh, yes, that's uh, often. Can you show the picture once more? The, the ah, yes. The one with the yes, I... <coughs> uh, no, uh, this one, no, one this report, one, right? yes, this, uh, mm -hmm. uh, one block would be in the Philharmonie, uh, in the f uh, f uh, foyer, 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 in the entrance of the mm -hmm. Philharmonie, and then all the music would uh, be a bit, uh, would be a bit dedicated uh, to these victims too, of course. But uh, the Holocaust Memorial in Berlin has a big problem because they built it without uh, steel inside. Mm -hmm. Reinforcement. Mm -hmm. Re Re reinforcement and now it breaks uh, apart. Oh. It breaks apart every, every, uh, mm -hmm. and they have to, uh, to repair it always by, uh, by metal bands. You see here. Yeah. And uh, it's a big problem, but nobody talks about it, that it breaks. <laughs> yeah, but uh, they have to close it in two, three years. Yes. They have to rebuild it. Yes. But uh, yes, this is uh, during the process of the Holocaust Memorial. This here is uh, uh, the ground of the uh, Eisenman Memorial. Uh, we announced it in the Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung, the best, the uh, important, most important newspaper in Germany, uh, to, uh, for sale. We, we uh, for sale here with an eagle, with a German eagle. But uh, we, as, as an artist, you have to uh, have good friends in every profession. Uh, so, uh, lawyers, lawyers, lawyers helped us and told us it's, it's forbidden to do this, uh, uh, to use the eagle. You can get in, uh, in Yale for, for this. Uh, so we, by a mouse click, we changed uh, uh, the head to the other side and we took the feather of the tail 
<laughs> but nobody noticed. Uh, and also, we uh, there is a normal uh, government announcement. So the German government announced grounds when they sell, but uh, there is uh, uh, Amt für Bundesvermögensverwaltung. There is a Bundesvermögensverwaltung and the Bundesvermögensamt. And we created a new office, Amt für Bundesvermögensverwaltung. <laughs> but nobody, no, and all the other, and we offered it, uh, uh, and all our friends told us, artist friends, and nobody will offer, no company will offer, uh, uh, will send the offer. Uh, because it, it was Martin Luther Straße, it was a Wohngemeinschaft of my niece, how do you call Wohngemeinschaft, the student of our office. Communion uh, flat. Yes, communion uh, flat of, of my niece. Uh, and it was the 8th of May, was uh, the 8th of May was, uh, you should. Uh, Send your offers until the 8th of May uh, was a capitulation, the day of the German capitulation uh, after the war. And it, uh, and it was uh, no, it, it was uh, it was uh, 17th, uh, 17th of June, 17th of June also, and it, it came out on 8th of May, uh, 8th of May. But all the Hochtief, all the big companies who rebuilt Berlin after the reunification, Potsdamer Platz, the center of Bayern, uh, like the, the, the Geiger, wie sagt man? Wolfschuss. Wolfschuss, Wolf. yes. Uh, they wanted to buy it. We, we got a lot of, <laughs> of, 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 of us, <laughs> but, but we, then we had our friends, said it, we, uh, then they got an answer from us, Thank you for your offer. With your offer, you are part of our artwork. <laughs> and then we made an exhibition <laughs> with this, uh, with all uh, this, uh, this offers. Uh, and uh, that was, and we learned by this work that the community of culture people and artists is completely different from the community of investors. The Süddeutsche Zeitung, the Süddeutsche newspaper uh, uh, wrote us, uh, please do the next offer <laughs> advertisement in our newspaper mm -hmm. because we are cheaper and we have more uh, <laughs> lect uh, readers. 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 We have more, <laughs> more readers. <laughs> it was a, you, so you see such a heavy material, heavy, heavy question uh, can make fun also, but uh, we paid for it. It was very, uh, we, we paid a lot of money for this, this advertisement. And um, uh, there was also so, uh, then uh, uh, the, uh, what heißt der? Staatsanwalt, Oberstaatsanwalt, Hauptstaatsanwalt? State Attorney. Yes, uh, uh, called me. I want to call, uh, speak uh, with the uh, director of the Deutsche Boden <laughs> <laughs> because it was very, uh, 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 very uh, difficult situation. Uh, and then I thought, uh, uh, there is no director, there is only an artist, that is the artwork. <laughs> and in this moment, I felt uh, uh, how the uh, authority, became completely different in his voice. And uh, <laughs> uh, so we got not uh, where okay, he was very happy that it was only art and not reality. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, many of perhaps you know this uh, work. My proposal was to shred as a Brandenburg gate as a Holocaust memorial and to ask would the German stand uh, this place without, uh, without their national Symbol. Uh, oh. 
uh, without uh, their uh, national symbol. Of course, uh, they uh, kicked me out in the first round of the uh, of the uh, of the competition of the competition, but uh, the work became uh, known. And it works until today because there are the guided buses in Berlin. Some of the guides uh, tell in front, tell the people in front of the uh, uh, of the Brandenburg Gate. There was such a, a crazy artist who wanted to shred the Brandenburg Gate as a Holocaust memorial. So it works sometimes. <laughs> And here uh, I, I uh, did this light installation once in the night of the 27th of January, the Holocaust Memorial uh, Day in uh, Germany. It means uh, the Germans uh, should never forget uh, if, uh, if they, when they uh, lose uh, the national symbol, the Brandenburg Gate, that there are other doors also, and they should. Uh, there was also, uh, uh, they wanted, they, uh, they didn't give me first the permission uh, for this, uh, because it is the uh, Brandenburg Gate, it's a holy, the holy thing. But then, uh, uh, and they asked me, and I asked them why it's Memorial Day, and so, and they told me, you know, how many people do you need to do this installation? And I told them, oh, I know some techniques, uh, the people, uh, so I need perhaps uh, 10 people for help. Oh, then it's a demonstration and you need uh, insurance and all this, it would be impossible. But a clever policeman, a higher police officer, told me, no, this is the 27th of January, it's a memorial day. This is, what has eine Mahnwache? This is uh, uh, a vigil? A vigil. A vigil. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a vigil. It's only, then we need only two policemen. That is a ritual, that is not a demonstration. And uh, so I could uh, do it uh, with the help of this uh, police officer. But I was here is the headquarters, the former in the middle of Weimar. You have the Marstall. Uh, this is the main uh, state archive of Thuringia, and there was also the Gestapo headquarter of Thuringia. And uh, until uh, the when. Weimar became capital of European capital of culture. Uh, they rebuilt the archive there uh, and they wanted to destroy, to take away, because they built a new archive underneath, underground. Uh, and so uh, they wanted to take away the administration barrack of the Gestapo in the prison. and. Uh, Uh, yes, and we, uh, uh, Andreas Knitz and I, we won the competition. Uh, we uh, told them we never will do uh, 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 sculpture to remember this place and this history if the government decides to destroy these testimonies, uh, then uh, we do this as an art performance. But we do uh, uh, no sculpture. Uh, and uh, with Volker Knigge in the, the jury, we won this, uh, and we could uh, uh, shred this building, not the Brandenburg door, but we could uh, shred uh, in a big uh, in performance, uh, in a big performance, these buildings. And uh, we store them in the time when they uh, built the new archive. 
uh, in big uh, archive boxes, in big containers like archive boxes with mirrors. And at the end, uh, we uh, uh, put the rest, uh, the shredded material, back on the basis of the building so that you can walk uh, there. And it is called shredded or crushed history. There is the barrack, and at the other side, here you have the situation. Uh, but some of these stripes who mark the basis of the former buildings are uh, with security, with uh, safety uh, glass, panzer glass. Uh, so you can stand there and look down into the archive. And into this archive there are the Buchenwald uh, uh, files, uh, the Bauhaus files, all the Bauhaus administration files and uh, Goethe, uh, uh, official uh, Goethe uh, uh, correspondence. All this uh, German history is under this crushed uh, uh, history. That means better is uh, than uh, yeah, neo monuments. Better is uh, to go. Better is to go down and to study actively the documents than to stand in front of monuments. Uh, uh, yes, and but I just want to go back what uh, Weimar, the capital of uh, Goethe and Schiller and classic of German culture. That means that is the entrance uh, of the entrance door of the administration barrack of the with torture and so of the Gestapo, the walls uh, with double uh, walls uh, where the Gestapo did uh, torture. Also, but uh, this door has a Bauhaus Gropius door handle. Mm. Uh, uh, Gestapo uh, barrack, uh, Gestapo door with a Gropius door handle. That means Germany, I think, and that it means especially Weimar, this very famous, uh, uh, famous place. Yes, archive. Yes, and uh, in the cells in the main building, we have a permanent exhibition with cut uh, exhibits of the uh, destroyed, uh, of the shredded, uh, crushed buildings. Near Weimar is the concentration camp, the former concentration camp Buchenwald. And 50 years after the reunification, uh, of course, uh, 50 years after the liberation, and after the German reunification, the big monument of the communist time uh, uh, couldn't uh, be used for the ceremony, so uh, they uh, needed a new uh, monument. And the director, Volker Knigge, asked me uh, to think about it. And together with Andreas Klitz, it's the first work I did together with Andreas, uh, okay. And uh, uh, Volkart uh, Knigge told us this was the first monument uh, in Buchenwald after the liberation uh, 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 done uh, by uh, a provisorium by Wood. It was uh, done uh, by Wood, this obelisk, uh, but it existed only uh, three weeks because they uh, needed the wood uh, uh, to build a speech podium for the celebration of the 1st May, because Buchenwald was liberated the 10th of April, and so it existed only until the 1st of May. Then they uh, made a build, uh, they built a pitch, uh, speech podium with Churchill, Stalin, it's the same material, so it's a very modern. Yes, 
it, it's a very modern idea of it. And so we marked this place by a steel plate, and this steel plate is warmed up uh, to body temperature, to 37 degree. It's a human body temperature, the perpetrators, the victims, all races, we have it all the same temperature, and uh, yes, and people uh, knee down, touch it, and feel perhaps this warmth. Here it's uh, Obama. It's Obama. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because his uncle yeah. was a soldier who liberated uh, Weimar. Uh, 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 and it, 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 it's always it's always without snow. Uh, snow. It's a very cold place there in Humboldt, but this warm plate is always uh, without snow and. Uh, Ah, here. Yeah. No, uh, because this is a video, I don't know how. Ah, yes, here. It is a video from Harun Faropi. It's a part of a. a Laboring work. Yes. It's a part of a movie he did about rituals. Where mm -hmm. There was a, a colonial uh, different situation until the French. There mm -hmm. were T Tunisian, Alger Algeria from Algeria, and it was also a contemporary uh, problem because until the Yugoslavia, now we had to uh, uh, to write Serbia, Croatia, and all this. And uh, perhaps it is a bit. Uh, it's uh, also a political thing because many uh, guests, uh, as here in Yad Vashem, political, uh, go there because there are some victims from their uh, countries. And uh, then they go to Berlin to negotiate. And so they, uh, it's always the instrumentalization also of these uh, uh, victims. And uh, uh, therefore, I had to change it because they were Turks, but not Armenians. So I had to, to inscribe Armenians too and to change all the plate. And uh, uh, we would like to write only uh, human being, human being, human being in the different languages. But this is not political, not possible. They want to. The nations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is a Nazis burned the books. And here's a monument, uh, an archive of books underneath in Bonn, in front of the uh, city hall where the Nazis uh, burned the books. And there the people put, uh, put one book mm -hmm. uh, and we. Uh, uh, put it in the pavement between the, uh, there, but in the middle of this uh, there's an archive with original books and every 10th of May uh, we open it and uh, people, uh, students, uh, 
these are all the names of the bound writers or the bound Oh no, yes, and uh, uh, I forgot some photos here. Yes, there's always every year a ritual, they open it, they read it, and they give it to the past buyers. So the books uh, uh, come back uh, to the bookshelves uh, in the city, and we fill it with new uh, books, and then they stay one year uh, there, and so it's a permanent ritual. Uh, with uh, this uh, burned uh, books. This is a uh, Ashford fountain in front of the city hall in Kassel where I live. And uh, the donator was a, a Jewish uh, uh, entrepreneur and uh, the Nazis destroyed it and I rebuilt it as a negative. Now here, and the people told, don't like it because uh, so many tax money and you see nothing. <laughs> 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 All, only the accents, uh, yes. Uh. It's the same size? Wow. It's the same size, 12 meter. Now it goes down in the, until the groundwater. And, uh, is it late? So you can see it down? Yes, you, you see down. And, and sometimes uh, down uh, there is uh, the groundwater, the water, and the, the sculpture is hanging upside down. And in the refl reflection on the surface, sometimes you see a bit the, uh, the image of the uh, former sculpture. But uh, it was uh, known as a Rathaus fountain, as a city hall fountain after the war, and the people thought it was uh, destroyed by English bombs. Uh, but now they are so angry about it, but everybody tells us again, Ashrod was the name of the founder, Ashrod fountain, and everybody know uh, the story uh, now. And sometimes it's much better when people doesn't accept accept uh, 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 the work. Then uh, they think more <laughs> than uh, they accept. It. Yeah. But how how can how can one to see it from the from the down? From the down, it's just not possible. It's only in your imagination. Uh, imagination, because the real monument. It's a passersby, it's a, uh, the people who stand on this uh, lost form, on this negative form, and uh, think why we have this uh, uh, negative here, this uh, hole here. But as it was uh, also, uh, after the reunification, Kassel is, uh, was near the border to East Germany, only 30 kilometers. And when the frontier opened, uh, then uh, the mayor uh, of Kassel uh, gave from big trucks uh, oranges and bananas uh, to <laughs> the uh, brothers and sisters from the under, other side of the Iron Curtain. And they were all standing there peeling uh, <laughs> the fruits. And I collected from, I, I clean this every month since 30 years. Wow. I, I clean this. And in and, and this uh, 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 rubbish from, from down, from this reunification uh, müll, wie heißt es? Garbage. Garbage, uh, reunification garbage. I collected and dried it with, new with newspapers. I made an installation of this. Uh, so, and I find uh, fixer 
Uh, and they uh, always, if they are in front of the city hall, manifestations, demonstrations, of, for example, of the Verdi, of the labor union, uh, union they always they have uh, red whistles, uh, red whistles, and then the, it, uh, after this demonstration, the fountain is full of red whistles, and I, I connect all this, it's always a mirror of, of the place there. Okay, let's see. Yeah, and there was a manifestation of the neo-Nazis, and I took these photos and some more photos from the city hall, and it was just after the maquette of the Ashot Fountain was given to Yad Vashem. There was a small exhibition in Yad Vashem, it is in the collection of Yad Vashem. Also the pan or gatework, it's, of, uh, uh, it's there. Uh, here you, you have the, that is in Yad Vashem also. And uh, I sent uh, these uh, photographs of the neo-Nazis to, uh, to Yad Vashem to demonstrate put this to the, because this is the situation in Germany. And uh, uh, well, then I got, uh, we were, all our family were treated by the neo-Nazis more than one, uh, more than one year. And it was a very hard time for all the family. When because the police it? could not find them. It was uh, in the 19th, I think, already. And it was, uh, and uh, then they, uh, and I never thought that I, as artist, working, intellectual in this uh, field, uh, that in Germany could uh, enter such a situation that I uh, must be afraid again about my children when they go to, uh, to school and so. And then uh, we got all this written letter in a very good psychological way. When, they, when we thought they forgot us, then came the next letter, don't think we have forgotten you. <laughs> <laughs> and they gave me, uh, and then the police uh, told me uh, no, uh, uh, no uh, uh, speeches uh, on no works in the public, be quiet, uh, nothing, uh, to nothing provocative, but they couldn't find them. And uh, then at the end, I went to the television and I, I made uh, this public, all this. Yeah. And in this moment, uh, they Stop. stopped. Yes. And they gave me 20 of April, Hitler's birthday. A letter came with an amnesty. Uh, and I told you, and they explained me why they did it. And they did it, why I sent these photographs of their comrades to Israel, to Yad Vashem. And though uh, the photos uh, came to the Mossad, was their fantasy. And therefore, they wanted to punish. To punish to punish me. That was the reason. And it was, but this was in a polite, uh, uh, in polite words, very polite, uh, academical words. And uh, uh, that is uh, very difficult because in this moment you feel grateful. Because it's over. <laughs> you, have, uh, you have not longer to be afraid. It's very, uh, uh, very sophisticated. You are, uh, 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 this was a situation, and I would, and now with uh, the situation in Germany, it's much um, uh, worse than in this time, I think. Okay, so, and this was a, a silent concert in, on the Memorial Day, it's a Memorial Day of the uh, destruction of the fountain by the Nazis. Here is a bucket. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a mirror down, so you see it. You can see it upright. Mm -hmm. There's a stone collection. I did uh, 
uh, with students and citizens of Kassel. Uh, we collected one stone for one deported and murdered Jewish people of Kassel and uh, they were deported to Riga, all from Kassel, the majority, and my parents came from Riga. So it was again a personal situation, a personal history, a story also. And this is a, uh, and I inscribed all this, all the names on the rails, on the deportation play, uh, uh, gate in, in Kassel. We have all the more than 1,000 names there, so it's along all the gate. Uh, until the end, you have on both sides the names. And this is uh, Skirotava. This is uh, in Riga. This is the other end. Of the uh, of uh, of the railway there, uh, where they uh, arrived in the and were brought to the uh, Riga ghetto, but there it's not uh, there's no sign, no memorial because you have in the Baltic uh, countries you have the competition of victims because they are very anti-Semitic there and they tell. Nobody remembers our uh, victims uh, murdered by Stalin and deported to Siberia. But every tourist and everybody comes uh, to remember uh, uh, the Holocaust, uh, uh, the Jewish victims. Therefore, we don't want uh, a memorial or a sign there. Uh, uh, there's always a situation and instrumentalization <coughs> of victims. Until today? Until today. Uh, more, of the, yes, it is uh, growing. It's, it's growing. I, I think sometimes, the, I guess, uh, I, I have the most anti Semitic words and bad words I heard in Latvia and Estonia. Uh, in And here it's a destroy, destroyed uh, ghetto in Kaunas last year. We recycled uh, abundant uh, a huge uh, Soviet memorial which remembered uh, the communist fighters in, 19, in, 19, uh, in 1999. And we put uh, uh, photographs of the destroyed ghetto which was at the same place. Uh, and yes, and uh, the reliefs are now in Ruta's Park. There was a video so that we could show the people these are the original uh, uh, reliefs of the communist uh, time there in your exhibition, video exhibition there. And, and we put uh, cases uh, so that there was a situation uh, with uh, photos of the former reliefs that people thought, oh, uh, perhaps uh, they will uh, bring back this Soviet uh, reliefs. So it was uh, as art Who transport. Who commissioned this one? Who commissioned it? Uh, it was a Biennale, uh, Kaunas Biennale. Biennale, uh, uh, Pauline, Paulina. Yeah. Fraggy. Handle with case is always the same with monuments. Yes, uh, uh, the uh, uh, monuments, uh, uh, Holocaust monument, the uh, Eisenman monument in Berlin. The best place I think uh, there is from the memorial place under the monument. Uh, um, uh, emergency. Uh, exits uh, between, uh, and I think every big <coughs> monument, national monument, should have such <laughs> emergency exits. <laughs> yes, and I end, I think, uh, you know, I end with this. Here you see the instrumentalization, this is from in Vilnius, from the first war. Done 
restored uh, a soldier, a cemetery of soldiers from both sides, Russians and Germans also, uh, but uh, um, uh, restored uh, several years ago. And you have here uh, uh, in the memory uh, for the memory of the Russian soldiers. And five meters beside, you have the same stone to the German heroes. The own are always the heroes, and the other are the soldiers or the collateral damage or uh, other. And I think we can change or we will change in monuments if we yes, exchange the monuments. It was a great idea of uh, Daniel Spurry to exchange all war memorials uh, from the First War, all war memorials as this from France to Germany and from Germany to France because aesthetically are all alike and perhaps some uh, people uh, start to think about uh, a reason, yes. And the best situation is built, uh, never to build monuments or neo-monuments, but the best moment is always if there is a competition for Berlin or this was for Frankfurt, for the, uh, where now is the Europäische Zentralbank, that was the deportation place of the Jewish community of Frankfurt. Uh, if there all the artists and, uh, uh, and architects, they meet in the colloquiums. And then you see all, they stand around in Berlin, thousands of artists and architects and air on this uh, uh, ground of the where they should build uh, the monument and everybody is thinking uh, about ideas. And this is the real best moment. And to document, um, to document all these ideas and to do an exhibition and then to do an archive and a new 10 or 20 years later, a new generation of artists and architects and people think it's the same place, uh, new, and you have a permanent process. I think that uh, would be perhaps the best. Thank you for your attention. Uh, if anybody has uh, questions, um, we time now. I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think about um, like removing monuments like uh, now they do in uh, uh, federal soldiers in the U.S. and uh, um, like statues of Native Americans uh, that I I think to remove it uh, is not a good idea to, to uh, do uh, to build a context. Uh, they tried it in Hamburg, for example, with Rizlitschka uh, uh, to do an anti-counter monument. Or to, uh, to for example, uh, Volkart Knigge uh, did it in Buchenwald. There is a huge uh, uh, memorial of the communist time. Uh, and uh, he built a site uh, beside a small museum uh, which uh, all the context of the building, of the discussion, and, uh, uh, and so you can see uh, uh, the context in this museum, and then uh, you go outside and so you see this uh, monument uh, uh, with another, uh, with another, in another view, with other uh, thinking. I think uh, that is much better because uh, for example, to uh, if uh, uh, for example uh, uh, they took nearly all the communist Marx and Lenin uh, statues from uh, East uh, Germany, 
but if you in now in this capitalistic uh, liberal capitalistic uh, uh, boom in time if you uh, once uh, in a uh, you you see uh, now Marx it works much better yeah. than in the communist time yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a monument I, I think yes <laughs> so maybe one question you're working at, around the notion of monuments for many years now yeah. and I wonder uh, if you see or feel the difference in the, the place of the monument uh, for, in the sense of the community like is it still important for communities or is it to become less important maybe there's a change in contemporary times in it, it is uh, for me uh, it is less important because we uh, artists uh, we take part in competitions and we build uh, counter monuments and new monuments but at the same time we have in the uh, parliament of Dresden how many from this uh, AfD 20 27 percent uh, this uh, uh, racism anti-semitism uh, it's uh, uh, growing uh, and we are building memorials we must uh, find uh, more uh, active uh, resistance. <coughs> so, but, but can you say, you think why it is so? What's, what's changed? I mean, uh, what's what the difference now than 50 years ago? But uh, what... Uh, because of the refugees. I don't know. No, I don't know. Mean, only the refugees. Uh, there is a... Uh, uh, not, not, uh, yes, uh, we could not, uh, I, I've tried to understand, first in Germany uh, in the 68, where I come from, from this time, uh, uh, they wanted uh, to change the situation by education. In the, in the concentration camps, in the memorials, and so by, by education. But it uh, didn't work. And then uh, the curators and the people to, uh, thought, oh, uh, there's uh, not enough, uh, enough emotion. And the specialists for emotion are the artists. So let's uh, uh, hire the artist. Uh, to, to handle this this problem, but it work, uh, it, it uh, did not work, uh, and uh, so uh, I uh, I have no uh, the answer, uh, but uh, uh, why uh, in all of the world? Uh, we are looking for uh, Erdogan, uh, Trump, Putin, all the strong, uh, all the powerful men, and, and so it, I think we are afra afraid to confront the future, and uh, we are uh, uh, in a time of orientation backwards to the, to the past. As you see now, it, it's a, a, a big in the in Berlin also now. I think the Holocaust and the uh, Second War in the intellectual scene is nearly over, but it, now the uh, colonialism mm -hmm. comes uh, in the fo into the focus more and more. I don't know uh, know how all this uh, fits. Together, I have uh, no answer. Mm -hmm. But I think we are in societies full of fear. Mm -hmm. And individualism. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, and uh, also, maybe I think it's interesting um, with your work and other contemporary artists that are making uh, monuments or is it called the monuments or um, that 
somehow, especially I was thinking about it when I saw the upside down uh, mm-hmm. fountain. Uh, on one hand, it's like not there, so mm-hmm. you can't also demolish it or get rid of it. The same way that you can knock down a statue and it's uh, mm-hmm. uh, not appropriate anymore for the uh, common uh, morals of uh, you know, society. But also, uh, I'm wondering this very specific moment that you also just spoke about, if we don't actually need something, um, like there's so much belief, you know, in that uh, very smart and very sensitive uh, action of putting yes. it inside, it's very delicate, it's very delicate, and, yes. it's ve- and there's so much belief in like uh, good, in the good, mm-hmm. like in the it seems like the, the forces of the fascism and, um, and I don't know, and racism and all those things are so uh, really um, bringing their heads up, you know, mm-hmm. uh, more freely uh, right now. It's just it's a question up in the air, like if we don't need also to you know, put something to, to, to be <laughs> as a matter of fact, uh, uh, that is uh, uh, and the uh, neo-Nazis, uh, they attacked me and my family, but not in my work, because they don't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> that is a, uh, that is a, <laughs> it's an advantage, uh, but uh, <laughs> that is an advantage. But uh, uh, to... Uh, but the best thing to have something upright, I don't know, okay, so or, or, or something concrete, uh, is a manifestation of people against uh, this uh, new racism, public manifestation. Many that is uh, better than art, I think. So these projects are funded by like, the government. Yes. The, manici- the municipalities. Are mm-hmm. Yes. It, but uh, you are supported by the country mm-hmm. for your ideas. Mm-hmm. Yes, and uh, uh, also uh, this stone collection, for example, uh, where a thousand people, uh, more than a thousand people, took part. Uh, uh, Everybody uh, had his own small memory story when he dedicated one stone uh, to one uh, individual uh, victim. Uh, and, uh, the, and then uh, this uh, collection is only a documentation that all this, uh, uh, all th- uh, these stories uh, took place. Uh, but uh, for example, uh, uh, there's a lot of possibilities more than in one artwork. I was with a professor during a documenta standing in front of the stone collecting uh, collection, and he told me, "Oh, Baruch, I have seen this name. I remember this name." And then he realized that his grandmother passed away, and he had. Uh, to auflösen die Wohnung, yes. he had to, 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 uh, to arrange all the apartment and he found uh, this name on uh, table clothes and, uh, and, on, uh, and uh, bedwäsche and uh, so this uh, sheets, sheets, uh, sheets is this name and then we looked in the book and of course it was the same direction wow. It was a neighbor of uh, of the grandfather, and then he told me, "Oh, Horst, uh, let's uh, uh, do uh, research. If there are some survivors of the family, I want to to give this uh, mm-hmm. this back." Or uh, uh, another uh, woman uh, uh, on the stone collection uh, did uh, collected a stone for her uh, old. Uh, Jewish uh, victim, and uh, she came here in Haifa 
for a social year, as a social worker for in a like a voluntary, a voluntary, voluntary social worker in a asylum for old people. How do you call it? Altenheim? Old age home. Yes. Uh, and, and she told, uh, and she took care of an old blind lady. And she told uh, to uh, this lady, I dedicated a stone in Kassel to this uh, lady. And then in this moment, this lady started to cry. Because uh, she. Uh, dedicated uh, the stone for the uh, ma uh, for the mother of this old lady. So, uh, if you have such a collective process, there are uh, uh, much more possibilities of memory than uh, uh, when uh, if uh, one artist built a monument uh, uh, in order uh, of of a city or of a, of a jury. So, and perhaps these processes are, uh, to start such processes, it's better. Hmm? Uh, what made you start to make monuments, or like these war monuments? What was it uh, that led you to that? Uh, what? What led you to start to make Is this uh, monu monuments? Uh, uh, this is uh, when I built uh, the Ashrod fountain. This, uh, and then uh, it was uh, there was already a competition decided, and they wanted to build a cube of granite, a granite block with twelve uh, water rings with twelve uh, water uh, uh, for every founder of big founder of the city of Kassel. But there was Henschel, that was a former uh, 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 war criminals, war criminals, together with Ashrod, with, with his <laughs> Jewish family. All are dead, all together in one monument. <laughs> and I, I, I read this in the local newspaper. And uh, uh, I was uh, uh, known with the curator of the documenta in this time. And also the major was uh, uh, Eichel, uh, the later uh, finance minister of Germany. Uh, and uh, I wrote, uh, I, I thought uh, you cannot handle this story, uh, this history, this place, and this. Mm -hmm. And so I wrote them a letter, and I uh, did this uh, sketch with the negative of the. It was the idea I, when I uh, wrote this letter. I sent it, and then. Uh, they told, oh, uh, give us uh, more information about it. And so I started with this monument because it was a city where I uh, uh, live. And then, uh, but there was a big, uh, uh, a big uh, group of very important uh, uh, citizens of Kassel uh, who didn't like uh, my proposal. Uh, and uh, uh, so I had to defend my idea, and I went in the city archive uh, to find uh, uh, to find reasons for my uh, uh, for my idea, and I found that all the Jewish victims from Kassel were deported to Riga, and Riga was the hometown of my parents of my family. But they never spoke about the murder uh, around in the forests of Riga and about the Holocaust. And that was the point uh, where I started. Uh, then I did the stone collection, and then I was more and more involved uh, in my own family story and in this. Uh, but now I'm since years. I want. Uh, get out <laughs> to free myself, <laughs> but I'm sitting here <laughs> telling you I all to, this stuff. Yes. I wanted to ask you actually about your other work, about your drawing, and uh, 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 how it connects to that or not connect? Uh, it, these works are conceptual ideas, and uh, my um, drawing work 
Uh, in the meantime, more than 30,000 drawings uh, in, uh, on piles, on the columns. Monuments. It's a monument. It's a monument. <laughs> It's a, it's a monument, but uh, yeah, I have shown, uh, I first I draw every day, uh, um, every, every day uh, the bottom of, of my studio in big, big rolls, two, two meter uh, rolls and 50 uh, or uh, 200 meters in one roll and I, every, every day. And I wrote it together, but in one exhibition in Sao Paulo, in the Museo Lazar Segal, a small museum of a, uh, of a Jewish artist uh, from Berlin who went to Brazil. I opened uh, such a wall, but only one meter. It was. <laughs> <laughs> and now I sometimes I, I show some, but only I do it every day. And then I show one day, one week, one month. So you, these are like, but you don't draw. What do you draw on these generally? Uh, I, I I draw uh, without uh, what uh, from the subconscious, without any. So concept. it's a form of commemoration almost. Yes, it's, uh, it's, uh, it, it is. Uh, it is what it's like. Uh, uh, teeth brushing every day. It's or cleaning, psychological psychi 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 cleaning, yeah? So, 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 so I don't need pills. I, I only need a pen. <laughs> we could, um, and the second question I wanted to ask was about commissioning of monuments in Germany. Hmm? Because um, I think that most of the these monuments were also commissioned by your generation. Mm, yes. It's very much a 68 mm, generation. Yes, yes. Um, and I was just wondering about how you think the future of commissioning of these monuments is. I mean, mm. I know in a city like M Munich there is mm. over 300 monuments. Mm, yes. mm. Um, and one asks himself how many mm. more monuments are needed. Mm. And <laughs> what do you think is the reason so many monuments are needed? The, uh, uh, the reason is there are uh, political interests. Mm -hmm. uh, that is the main reason, and I also think uh, it's a problem, you and me also, uh, there are always uh, competitions, and there is a f uh, jury, okay. and you see the names of the jury, and then I decide, uh, yes, I take part or not, because we bet the jury, that is a political thing. Yeah. Uh, it's always a compromise of interests. And therefore, the majority of monuments in the public uh, place, uh, public space, are uh, mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> mediocre, it, it's a consequence of this uh, compromise of, of, jur of juries, because art uh, doesn't know compromise. But the jury always yeah. finds a, a compromise. Mm -hmm. And that is a problem with monuments in public space. And sometimes, perhaps, uh, 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 as in the uh, format uh, in the past, sometimes methane uh, uh, or something, it's a better, solu better solution, perhaps. Because he trusts sometimes more to the artist than the jury with the compromise. Mm. But I have no medicine. I <laughs> you have no? Uh, ich, uh, I have no medicine. Like a rich sponsor, sponsor, that, uh, sponsor that will sponsor. commission it and pay out of his own pocket, so you wouldn't have to go yeah, through yeah, a yeah. committee. Yeah. 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 Okay, thank you, person. Thank you, everybody.